Alexandria Fragrances Hawaii Volcano. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on a fragrance called Hawaii Volcano by Alexandria Fragrances. Now, this was probably one of the first clones of Virgin Island Water that I ever purchased. And then I also got some other Virgin Island Water clones. For So for some reason, I kind of put this one on the back burner. I haven't really retested it very much since my initial review so, so many years ago. I know that Alexandria has new bottles now, so it will look a little bit different if you purchase it now. As you can see, I've been kind of going hard on spraying it. I uh, had probably mostly full when I started, and now I am mostly gone. So it's nice to be able to save a little bit after this review while also spraying up tons. So I really have an idea about it. So let's jump into the notes here. The notes we got are Sicilian white bergamot, Jamaican lime, Sicilian mandarin, hibiscus, Lang Lang, Indian jasmine, Tonkin musk, and tropical wood notes. Now, Virgin Island Water, it's a very popular fragrance. To me, it's one of the most vacation-y style fragrances. It kind of has this lime and coconut style vibe. It smells so good. It almost smells kind of like a super exotic sunscreen. This fragrance is a little bit more on the lime and a little bit less on the coconut, but Virgin Island Water was more just like a tropical smell versus it being always trying to be fresh or always trying to be a fragrance. It was more just trying to recreate this smell of Virgin Island water, whereas this I find to be a little more cologne but I actually like that. So let's jump into the pros of this fragrance. The pros is that it retains most of that delicious or really enjoyable Virgin Island water DNA that I love so much. It goes so good in the summertime and it's pretty much unisex. I would say for some reason I find this to be a little bit more masculine because it's a little more fresh. But that being said, I still think this is unisex. It just smells so good in any heat in my opinion. It also has probably a little bit more projection than the original Virgin Island Water and the Virgin Island Water clones. And I feel like that's also with the lime being added a little bit more, it's a little bit more fresh. But I actually like that because the original Virgin Island Water, as you may know, it goes away pretty quickly. Quick. This is like a really, really amazing, fun to wear summer scent. It's really a treat. It really does feel like something you could just wear all vacation. And it's one of those fragrances. It's probably in my top 10 favorite DNAs. I really do like it that much. If I were to go into the cons of this fragrance, I really don't have too many. The one I would say is that it is a really fun and playful and it is a summer scent. So if you're working a lot in the winter, this is kind of the opposite scent for you. If it's really cold where you live, it's not really the best. And also it's got a very fun vibe. So if you live in a kind of a more rougher environment where you kind of want to demand a little more respect, this is just so fun and vacation-y. It's just for a specific kind of experience, in my opinion. And then it's also not that long lasting. However, in my opinion, it lasts a lot longer than the original though. So I really do appreciate that. So that's pretty much my only cons. I really like this fragrance. I really like this DNA. If I was gonna go for a smell rating, I would give this an 8.5. If this was the first time I've smelled it, I would have given it a nine. Likeability, nine to a 9.5. That's probably its strongest suit. This is just a super likable fragrance. And then longevity and projection is 6.5 to a seven, but Virgin Island Water itself does not last very long. And this lasts probably a hair longer than Virgin Island Water. So that's not a negative. And most people have smelled this, so you understand the kind of situation that it's for. In my opinion, this is okay for the gym, pretty solid. And this is okay for the date, so long that it's in some sort of a hot tropical environment. The closest you could get to the heat and tropical, the better. But for like a nighttime winter date, 100% not for this. This would smell okay in the office, but at the same time, it's just so playful and fun. It's not one that I would recommend. Maybe for a woman, I could see a, maybe a woman pulling this off more in the office. But if you kind of run into those stressful situations, you don't want to come across as just the guy on vacation having a great time you kind of want something a little more serious but overall this is a very very good fragrance and I know that they've come out with a couple other renditions of this one they've probably come out with a lot more since I've checked but they also had one that was more like orange with this kind of DNA, I think it's substituting the lime for orange, so I really would be interested in that. If you have another version of Alexandria Fragrances that smells very similar to this or another rendition of this, I would be very interested to see it down below. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I could not do it without any of your guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.